All right. Um, I welcome each one of you to this very um, precise tutorial on how you can use Telegram app to train or tutor anyone or a group of people. You see, um, yeah, it's it's really a very useful application to do such you know it's much more advanced than whatsapp and it's even very useful i can say it's even preferable to your twist in a sense to zoom you know considering certain factors we will be talking about okay so um first things first sha you know whenever you are doing a recording or a teaching I, I I'm not sure it's everybody that knows about this feature. Every phone has this feature, but I don't know if it's every everyone that knows about it. But just in case you are not aware of it, if you don't want unnecessary disturbance while you are teaching, maybe you know WhatsApp messages fly in or um, somebody calls or something like that, you can simply just you know swipe you know down. And choose this do not disturb okay feature. This do not disturb feature silences majority of the activities that take place, you know, in your phone, like maybe a notification, a call ringing, and you know, stuff like that, so that it doesn't disturb you. So, having said that, um, we just want to just quickly look at telegram and how helpful it is for tutoring online first and foremost we want to look at the similarities you know it has with some other popular video recording um apps like zoom google meet and what have you um one of the similarities is that of course you can record okay you can record your your um your, your tutorial or whatever your session, just like with Zoom, Google Meets, and the likes, okay? And how you do that is you simply just click the three buttons, okay? And see this feature that says, you know, currently we are recording. So that's why it's, it's reporting stop recording, okay? All you just need to do is just tap on that and you can start recording. And you can choose to record... Um, only the audio, you can choose to record the video as well. For the video, you can record it in the portrait style, like the phone style, the long style, okay? Or you can record it in the landscape style, that is the wide, you know, the wide dimension, okay? So that's one similarity. Um, another sim similarity is that, of course, you can share your screen. You can see currently I'm... Um, sharing my screen okay with zoom google meet you can also do same you can share your screen such that whatever you want to show the, the people you are teaching or the person you are teaching you can easily just share the screen and you know go ahead and teach the person we'll look a bit more on on this feature you know a, a later on okay and how do you do that of course you press the three buttons again and you see this part that says stop sharing, stop screen sharing, okay? Um, it's because I'm currently sharing my screen, that's why. If you want to start screen sharing, you just, you know, press it, okay? And, of course, this is the, 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 how it looks like, you know, maximized. So I can just press the back arrow button, okay? Um, another similarity simply that you can mute and unmute okay so you can choose to um mute um your participants okay or unmute them okay so if any of them is making noise you can choose to you know mute that person or you can choose to unmute the person okay so for example i just clicked on yehuda aslan keno okay my god look at this lion <laughs> Okay, and I can choose to mute her. I can choose to unmute her. Okay, I can also choose to remove her. So these are some of the 
um, controls you can have with the students that um, take place that are um, in your video session. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's, these are more or less similarities. Okay. Now, um, why did I say this? So that, you know, you see that they are more or less related, but the major thing now is what's the advantage of Telegram over the others, okay? This is where I, I now want to really, you know, start looking at. Um, you know, starting with the first advantage, you see, of course, one of it is that it's cloud-based. You see, Telegram is cloud-based in the sense that whatever you record can be stored in the cloud. It doesn't necessarily have to occupy a lot of space on your phone. You can store it in the cloud and choose to, you know, from the cloud, you know, get it into your phone. So that's a very good advantage of Telegram, okay? Um, another advantage is that, you know, which we'll look at a bit later, is that, in, in in holding a session, you can have up to 200,000 members, which is really incredible, you see, which is really, really incredible. You you see some of all these other um, platforms that you could you could hold maybe um, for the paid version, you could hold like, let's say, um, I think for the, the one that is not paid, if, if it's up to 100 or more, you have to pay, you see. But in Telegram, you, you have as much as 200K without paying anything. So that's really incredible. That's really amazing. Okay? So it, it uh, enables you host as many participants as 200,000, which is unprecedented compared to the other apps, you see. And, of course, another advantage is that you can record your class forever. You can literally, like this recording I'm doing right now, I can continue for ages. It will not stop me. Unlike if you're using the free version of Zoom, after 40 minutes, it cuts you off. You have to start the session again. You get, but for Telegram freely, you can record as long as you want. Okay. So that's one very cool advantage of Telegram. Okay. Another advantage is that, you know, it doesn't take much space, you see. It doesn't take, it's quite considerable the amount of space it takes, you know. For example, like a one-hour, two-hour video, you know, it, it takes reasonable space, you know, than some of these other ones like uh, Zoom that a 30-minute video or 45-minute video is already reaching like, you know, 500 MB or 250, you know, very large amount of uh, uh, memory space, you see. And another thing, again, is the data cons consumption. Telegram's data consumption is much more um, 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 considerable than that of Zoom and the likes, you see. So these are just some of the really um, cool advantages you have using Telegram to tutor over the others okay and of course you can you can make the person forever have access to the files you see if the person comes in three years time the person can have access to the file you did three years ago before the person came there's a very cool feature telegram you know enables you where you can make the chat history visible for um you know new members we'll look at that a a, a little a little more later on, okay? And also, another um, cool difference is the ability to minimize. For example, um, if I press this um, button, you know, just beside the three dots, okay, um, it would minimize. Do you see that? Okay? And it, it's, it, this simply means, you see this um, mouse, this... Um, speaker stuff showing up or microphone stuff showing up okay if i press and hold it it can show me what is happening the amount of participants if anybody speaks it can let me know what is happening while i can go ahead you know to 
more or less share the screen of whatever I want to teach. So maybe, for example, if I wanted to teach presentation design, okay, and data analysis, you understand, you know, like, like something like this. You see, I can go ahead and teach it, you get, and I can still be knowing what is happening, you know, with my participants, you get. I can see seven participants. If somebody speaks, I get to know who is speaking, you get, and I can unmute the person or attend to the person if the person is making noise, okay? So this, this is just also um, a very cool feature of telegram this ability to minimize okay so yeah um um also um one thing i'll just like to show as well you know in rounding up is um if you want to for example if you want to host a class you get how would you do such if you want to host a class or a set of people. Maybe you have a, a skill you want to teach people. You know, um, how will you do such? Mind you, this Telegram is a very good option because it's not everybody that can afford the amount of data consumption and the space that Zoom takes. You get so that people will be more endeared to using Telegram than you know, heavy consuming Zoom you get so um now if you wanted to host a meeting now let's say you wanted to host a meeting okay um of course the first thing you would want to do is i'm pressing back the first thing you want to do is to create a group right so let's just see how you can you know create a group and um regulate or set the group in the way you would like it to be set so that you don't want unnecessary um, um, inputs from your students. So you just click the three buttons and you click on new group. Okay. From the new group, you can see up to 200,000 members. You can decide to add anybody. Let me just add, um, okay, let me just add Ken. Okay. I don't know, the, the, the lion face is still showing in my, in my mind. So... <laughs> So you can, let me just use Kenu, okay? So once you add, you can add as many members as you wish, okay? So um, you can decide to call the name of the group, whatever you want to teach. So maybe it can be on digital marketing course, whatever you, you want to call it. Let me just call it webinar for the sake of test, okay? And you just press, you know, Okay, so you, you press the correct sign to create the group. So you can now go ahead to start setting the way you want the group to work, okay? So for example, if you click the three buttons on top, okay? Um, okay, no, not the three buttons. You just tap on the webinar name. Tap the webinar name. This shows up. Then click the edit, that pencil sign, okay? So you get to see these options here. This is where you now get to, you know, set whatever you want the group, to, how you, however you want the group to be like. So, of course, it's wise that you set the group type to be private so that one uh, uh, bingo will not just come from nowhere and, and join your group. <laughs> so, of course, you, you, it's good to set it to, you know, private, not public. Then your chat history, this is what I talked about the other time, where somebody can come in nine years' time and still see what you posted nine years before. Unlike what that deficiency in WhatsApp. I don't know what is taking them time to, you know, catch up. So you can now set it from hidden to visible. So it's important that you make your chat history visible in case of new people that maybe have paid or you want to in involve in your group. You get so you set it to visible um then another good thing is reactions okay so if you want to control the kind of reactions people put in in the group while you teach you get it's it's very useful you can change from all reactions to some reactions i can choose to just choose thumbs up thumbs down and um, let's say clapping hands um 
um, um, the rest that you don't want, you leave them off. You get the idea. You surely don't want a pile of poo. <laughs> okay, then maybe, okay, this okay looks good. If you ask them, like, I hope you are getting it and the, the, the chat by saying okay. So this is just majorly, you know, what these reactions is about. You set the one, you allow your students to be able to um, use, okay? Then for permissions, okay, you can decide what you permit them to do in the group. So you can decide whether you want them to send text messages, which is pretty much good. But for sending media, you can limit that. You may not want it to become like a circus. So you could limit stickers and gifts. You could limit music. I think you could limit videos to an extent. Maybe just photos and files. Voice messages are okay. Video messages, no need. Voice messages can do that. Embed links, no need. Polls, no need. You get the idea. So um, add users. Um, Change chat info, please. Or disable this one so that no, no Tom, Dick, and Harry will not just change your group title. You understand? Then add users. You, you can disable this because you should be the only one to be able to add users to, you know, the group you get. So this is just more or less what permissions are about. Make sure you tick the correct side to, you know, confirm your changes you get. Then for um, invite links, you know, it's just simple. This is the general invite link. You can copy it and, you know, um, send it to whoever you want to send it to. If you are promoting it online, you get. Or um, if, you want, if you want more control of the link, you can decide to click create a new link. Okay. Then see this place that says approve new members. If you if you check it, okay, it means that whoever clicks on the link will still need to wait for you to approve them to join the group. So this gives you the control of approving whoever clicks on your link. You get you can set the limit by time period to one hour, one day. That's when the um, link will expire, and you can. You can give the the link a name if you don't want. If you want, it's optional. But if you don't want, you can just press create link. Okay. And this is the customized link down here. This one that says no one joined, you know, that you can now begin to share. Okay. And of course, if you left click and hold, you can choose to, you know, share the link and edit it or revoke it. That's make it, you know um yeah you know what i mean not functional anymore you see so yeah man so you know this uh, this is just like you know how you can set your group for um for 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 handling your class okay um yeah that's pretty much you know what i just wanted to share i needed to make this as brief and as straight to the point as possible so that it's not too long. You know, if not, I would have, I would have allowed for questions, but this is not really, it's just like a, a hair, you know. Maybe after I stop the recording, I'll take your, your questions, okay? Because I've told Pastor Sergio that once I did this, you know, I'll stop the recording and we'll join in again to continue with um, the other stuff, you know, we have to discuss on you know um having said this uh, there's just one thing and uh, hey you can also share that's just one thing i wanted to talk on you can also share your uh, you know the current video chat you are having you can choose to share with your current contacts okay you can search here okay for whoever you want to sh share it to um, or, yeah, or, um, I think there's also another way. You can also share, where is that other way now? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to extend this video too long. Yes, that's it. You can also invite members, okay? Maybe members in the group, 
that have not yet joined, you can also invite them using this feature, okay? You can also copy the invite link to invite others who are not even members of the group. So before I stop this recording, please, did, if you learned something useful, just say, just say something. And I, I don't want to. Like, sir, we should we should say something with the mic or yes. post in the group. So, yes, yes. If you've learned something, you should just say. Ah, sir, sir, I've given I've 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 given my fifty star review in the group. Let me just you know for formality sake, let me say it in the video. You know this this <laughs> this class <laughs> this class has been massive. Honestly, I I'm very honest. I'll yeah, I'll as this one I want to drop now is a very honest review. Okay, so this class is, is in fact, sir. I, ah, I don't know what to say, sir. But God bless you, sir, because ah, it is well, it is well, it is well, man. I beg, I beg. This let, 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 me let me stop. Ah. Let me stop the recording so that so that it's not too long. So that it's not too long. Let me stop the recording. Then we'll get we'll get comments later. Let me just stop. And okay, one final thing. Once you stop your recording, okay, um, it saves it in the part of Telegram that says saved messages. So you can easily access it in the part of Telegram that says saved messages. You can get the video. It will save it as video and as audio as well. So that's very cool. You get the audio part and you also get the video part. From there, you can now share to whomever or wherever, you know, you want to share to or, you know, download it into your your phone so that's just pretty much the last thing i want to say before i stop the recording thank you guys so much i appreciate